Okay, Charles Rohr, Cavanaugh Place in Tulsa. Right here, thanks. Um, I came here to talk about something else, but I just want to correct the record about Obamacare being in the death spiral. I think I've heard that at every single one of your town halls, and it's mm -hmm. not correct. It's being actively sabotaged by Republicans, led by our president. Okay, <laughs> okay. Uh, Republicans won the election by saying they would repeal and replace uh, Obamacare. You can have your opinion, uh, but uh, Donald Trump is going to be the president of the United States for uh, the next three and a quarter years, it might be helpful to work cooperatively with him rather than opposing him on everything. The CDO, any Republican plan, the CDO has estimated 20 to 30 million Americans would lose their coverage. Mm -hmm. And why do we have uninsured people in the richest country in the history of mankind? What the CDO says is people would lose their coverage, but they would be eligible to pick up coverage from someplace else. Uh, they don't put the second line in their estimates. I know you don't trust the CD. Um, okay, so the issue I really came here to talk about was um, when you talked about guns, you said the problem is the finger on the trigger. Mm -hmm. And we have a nuclear arsenal, and there's somebody's finger on the trigger, and that person's finger on the trigger of our nuclear arsenal is Donald J. Trump. And under the Constitution of the United States, Donald J. Trump was elected president of the United States, and he is okay. the commander in chief. All right. So within with four and a half minutes' notice, as easily as ordering a happy meal at McDonald's, Donald J. Trump can launch nuclear missiles. Well, make you feel safe? No. No. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. I, I, you, I'm happier yeah. with Donald J. Trump's finger on the trigger than Hillary Rodham Clinton's finger. <laughs> Finger yeah, on the trigger, and that was yeah, you know, that, that that was the result of the last election. Okay. This person is has been shown to be okay. mentally unfit. Mr. Orr, with all due respect, you lost the election. Get over it. Well, no, no. let me get to my point. Okay. All right. So we have a president who has been demonstrated to be mentally unfit. Oh, come on! Now. <laughs> let me get to my point, please. Come on now. Are you a psychiatrist? <laughs> please let me get to my point. Well, you just said the president is mentally unfit. That's an irresponsible statement. And I want you to apologize to him publicly for saying that in public. I gave you an opinion. It's my opinion. No, you stated a fact. You said Donald J. Trump is mentally unfit. That is outrageous, sir. Uh, you know, you are not qualified to determine uh, the okay. mental status of anybody. Let me get to my point. Huh? Okay. Let <coughs> me get to your point and stop calling names. Okay, so the point is that there's very little um, in between his just making a decision in the middle of the night, I'm going to launch a nuclear weapon at so-and-so. There's really nothing to stop him. And well, the he doesn't answer, have to... Yes, there is, sir. You're wrong on that, too. Uh, you know, the thing is, is, yeah, Donald J. Trump has got nuclear codes. There are three other nuclear codes that have to get... Uh, 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 implemented uh, before a nuclear strike can take off. One of them is in the possession of the Secretary of Defense, General Mattis. Uh, 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 you know, I think General Mattis, you know, has a distinguished career in the military. He's not going to take unnecessary risk. And there are two others, you know, that are basically, uh, you know, around where whomever has them has got to. Uh, uh, end up uh, uh, deciding to activate the nuclear code. So the president can't do it himself, even though he's uh, the commander in chief. And no president has had the ability uh, to do that. Uh, you know, since Harry Truman, uh, you know, authorized the dropping of nuclear weapons on Japan in the Second World War. Well, I guess I was misinformed. I thought that he had ability within four and a half minutes to launch. And, well, okay. Um, perhaps there's other safeguards in place I did not know of, but um, mm -hmm. I feel that once that first bomb goes off, uh, whether it's... Listen, nobody wants a nuclear war. Uh, and, uh, you know, we do have a War Powers Act, but uh, uh, the president under the Constitution is the commander-in-chief, and it's been that way since George Washington. You elect the president, you elect the commander-in-chief. Uh, Donald Trump was elected as president. He's the commander-in-chief for a four-year term. 
beginning on January 20th of this year. I would just like to see some additional safeguards in place. Well, I think that those safeguards are in place. <coughs> okay. Rick Moon. 